Hey guys, Spirited AO here with ProductiveGamer.com and we are going to be looking at Speeder Racing League. Everything you need to know, tips and tricks, how to be the best speed racer that you can be. So first off, you want to get started off by going to the tower. You're going to go over to the hangar where you're going to visit Shipwright Amanda Holiday. She will provide you with your first quest and also daily bounties. So make sure to check in with her every day to scoop up your bounties before headed out to race. She also offers gear that you can purchase, legendary gear that will affect the performance of how you race. After scooping up your bounties, then you're want, gonna wanna head on out to orbit. In the bottom left hand corner where your dailies and the nightfalls are located, you can select SRL. And here it'll match you up with six other players where you'll compete to see who's the best. I'm reading Cabal and Vex on the track. Hit him if you have to. Now it'll pop up a brief description of what all does what. I'm using a basic speeder um, where I can press the L2 button to accelerate and the R2 button um, will give me a slight oh, boost with a chance to explode my ship. I highly recommend you use this boost. Just get familiar with how long you can use it without blowing up. If you blow up while um, running your race, you won't die, but it will slow you down drastically. So obviously you want to keep from doing that. So you're going to see us battling for these gates here. This is probably the most obvious way to be successful. You want to try and hit these gates as they provide a speed boost, temporary speed boost, allowing you to get ahead in the course a lot faster. So the farther up you are in ranking, the slimmer these gates are, making them harder to hit. So it does give you a good opportunity you're if you're pack. behind, gives you a little more of an edge over the first place person. So for example, if you're the first place person, those gates will be super skinny and a lot harder to hit. One of the biggest tips I can give you is strafing. So hitting L1 or R1 or clicking your left analog stick in or right analog stick in will allow you to strafe. And it can be the difference of crashing into an obstacle or hitting that gate that you need uh, to make. So make sure you're using your strafe. In the bottom left hand corner, you can see right to the right of your speed, there are uh, there's a blue square with two little dashes up underneath, and that's your strafe. So that you have essentially three strafes charged up. You have a little more depending on what kind of perks and gear you have on, but Lost the using that strafe will deplete it, and it will recharge on its own time and will recharge faster while going through the gates. Also, as you go through and complete a lap, you'll see right here, a recharge completely. So use your strafes up. If you still have any extras just before you go through the lap line, that way you'll get a full boost if you need the strafes. So um, braking, going around corners, going around tight corners is another tip that will give you an edge on the competition. Most people will stay on that gas pedal the whole way. So make sure that you do hit the brake occasionally for those extremely tight turns. Another thing, make sure you do not give up. A lot of things can happen, a lot of obstacles out there, a lot of uh, potential gates that people could miss. So all I can say is I've been down in a race, I've been behind greatly, but I stayed with it and was able to pass many people coming in first a few times in a couple of those cases. So. You know, if you have a bad mess up, if you blow up your speed, or if you do whatever, just stick with it. Don't give up. A lot of things can happen. A lot of things can change. At the end of every race, you're going to end up getting rewards or a chance to get rewards, such as emblems, shaders, horns, and legendary gear. This legendary gear is another way that you can get an edge above your competition. You have helmets with a perk that can increase your pitch or decrease your pitch, allowing you to move higher or lower while in the air, allowing you to get to the ground quicker to position yourself to catch that next gate, or maybe extending your airborne ability, allowing you to do tricks and stunts and things like that. If you're trying to be a daredevil out there. You have gauntlets that can reduce your fuel consumption when you're doing your strafing, um, allowing you to be able to strafe more before having to worry about regaining your fuel. The chest armor reduces the summoning cooldown after you blow up your speeder. So if you're getting blown up all the time, this thing can shave a couple seconds off of getting you back in the action. Then you have your boots. 
that increased amount of fuel that you get after you successfully perform a trick. And then your class right. items will increase in your lead. speeder racing league reputation with Amanda Holiday. So after completing bounties and completing races, you will gain reputation. Once gaining a complete level of reputation, you can head on over to Amanda Holiday to pick up your racer's toolkit. What the racer's toolkit will do, it will allow you at it to get a piece of legendary armor of what we just talked about, um, specifically to the Speeder Racing League. Also getting familiar with the maps are going to help you know when to take those tight turns and what to look out for as far as obstacles go. There's also a few shortcuts in some of the maps, so you have to look out for those and make sure you utilize those as much as you can. Shave a couple seconds off, it's nothing major, but every little bit helps. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Spirited AO here again with ProductiveGamer.com.